Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds. We again have Mika. And today she's gonna rate Aventus like fragrances, including Aventus. So I'll tell you the batch number because I know you guys are real serious about batches. Um, so we have two, four, six in the realm of Aventus, no cheapies, one that is less expensive, but I'm gonna talk about that when I talk about that. But this isn't an Aventus clone video. It is just a video that talks about things that are in that style of fragrance. Do I think any of them smell the same? Absolutely not. But she's here to tell us what she thinks of her favorite. I'll tell you guys my favorite at the end. Um, she's gonna turn her head so I can pick up a strip. She knows pretty much what's in the video. She just doesn't know which is which. So, we are going to do... Um, I'll show you guys uh, what it is after she smells it. There you go. This is pretty. I would probably give this an eight. An eight? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Can you tell us why you'd give it an eight? It's not as sweet as I would have wanted it to be. Um, but it is very, it's like clean. So I, I do like that part of it, but I'm missing the sweet component within this. So yeah. All right, eight, we'll take that mm -hmm. next. Here you go. Mm. <clears throat> now this is what I'm talking about. This is gorgeous. I would give this an eight and a half, just because I feel like there's something out there that's more. <laughs> okay, no, that's okay. Guys, I'm gonna put the um, the names on the bottom of the screen, but I'm not gonna tell her which is which, because then she'll be able to deduce things. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll tell her at the end when she picks her top one, and then maybe top three. No, so, but I, I like this. It's, it's sweet, but it has like kind of like a musky vibe. Okay. Which I like about it. All right, next. I don't like this. Why? Does this have like vet beer? Vet beer? Vetiver? Whatever. <laughs> I actually don't think so. I, well, it might have some vetiver. I'll, I'll, let me smell it. I don't, or grass or something. I don't know what it is. It's green, yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> um, so this will have to be a five. Okay. <laughs> Agree to disagree. Next. <laughs> okay. You can smell the lemon. Okay. I'd probably give this a seven. Interesting. <laughs> She, when she says interesting, she hates my scoring. But seven it is. Okay, next. Hmm. This reminds me of something and I don't know what. Maybe all the things you just smelled. I got a two shake. <laughs> okay, on a serious note, I would probably give this an eight. Okay. It is, it is like, it has a sweet component, which I'm, I really like, but it also, the contrast between like sweet and like, I don't know what it is, but it blends very well. I like it. Okay, next. Oh no, this is a 10. The sweet factor on this is up my alley. Like, it's gorgeous. I am not gonna lie to you guys. Okay. I would rock my world with this. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is a 10. Yeah. All right, so turn your head. I'm gonna go get the eights so you can tell me which one is better. Okay. 
that. I think I would choose this one. This one? Mm -hmm. Over this one. But I don't know because that one's really good too. Okay, we're going to go from the top of her list to the bottom of her list. Um, so her number one, that's the sweetest, was also my sister's number one of the dupes. It's not what it's not a dupe at all. It's Rosasi Customs Rosana, and this 65 ml is, I think, sixty dollars. And you can, if you use the coupon code, you can get it be between probably forty five dollars, somewhere between forty five and fifty five dollars. Can you order me that one? I'll, I'll hook you up. Don't worry. Okay. This one is really good, and it like every female in my life that has smelled it has absolutely loved it. And we will go to her number two, which was. Creed. <laughs> Creed Aventus 19P11 batch. I know you guys are super serious about these batch codes. It is really good. Yeah, I mean, if you like it, you like it. I do like it. It's a fruitier batch, I think. I, I don't know. I what think it's this? a little fruitier. It's Aventus. Oh my god. This one's definitely sweeter and it's gorgeous. Yeah, I think it's a fruitier batch. I don't know. I, I don't know anything about Aventus batches, but on my skin when I wore it, I got like a little bit of fruitiness. And I was like, oh, this is kind of nicer than I thought it was going to be because I'm not really like a hype person at all. Um, your number three, all, one of the two eights, the second eight is Mancero said Rapoise, which the funny thing is she smelled it before and she wasn't like the biggest fan of it, but taste changes and who knows. So buy all three. You don't need all three. <laughs> I mean, I, I own all three. <laughs> you do. Um, and then her other number eight was Nishani Hasavat. You've smelled this one before though, right? You had the discovery set? I do have the discovery set. So yeah, yeah. I've smelled that before. But you didn't seem like it was too familiar. So it's okay. <laughs> I know. Well, I got it like last year. So obviously it's still in the discovery box. Her seven was Elysium Parfum Cologne. Which I actually honestly thought would rank higher because it is the second most expensive bottle on this table. I think it's the one right after Creed Aventus. You guys know, yeah. okay? You don't have to spend all this money to still smell like a snack. And then this one, it rated five, but to me, I really like it. As it dries down, the green kind of goes to the background and it does pull up a little bit more sweetness. I should have known this was, I should have known. It's Commodity Moss Plus. I like green. Um, but you know, it's really funny by the time I get to work, it does change and the greenness maybe goes to the background a little bit, but you can still smell it and it's really nice. And it's got a little bit of sweetness as it dries down. Um, it's got like a really nice juniper berry in there. I mean, I think all of them have something of that variation, but I really, really like it. And it's got like patchouli. I and... think of forest. Okay. I mean, the green, <laughs> we, we said that. <laughs> Um, I actually like all of these fragrances. My favorite though, definitely, would be the Rosasi. This one blew me out of the water the first time I smelled it. It has actually taken over as my number one Rosasi, taken over the place of Darij, which I do love, but Cosmoth Rosana is amazing. Um, and my number two would probably be, depending on the day, if it's a really hot day and you ask me, it would be Moss Plus. If it is a cold day and you ask me, probably Cedra Poise. I like them both. I like all three of them a lot. Um, I like all of these. It took a lot of time for the Hasava to grow on me. It took a wearing for the Creed to grow on me just cause this is like, I don't think I understand the hype. Um, and then the Elysium, it didn't just take wearings. It took wearings and compliments for it to grow on me. So I was like, all right, if everyone loves it, then maybe I love it too. But, Tamika, thank you for being here. Oh, of course. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of these fragrances because I'm sure you've tried at least one or two of them. And if you haven't tried the <laughs> Rosasi, I really am telling you, it is getting hot. You're gonna wanna have a bottle of this. 
As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like this video if you liked it. Be subscribed to my channel. Hit that notification bell to get notified Bing. when I drop a new video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. Bye. Everyone knows my sweet level compared to your sweet level. So.